In this tutorial, we will discuss how to export design data compatible with Trimble machines, including the new Works Manager methods. First, we will review and manage controllers and machines that can be used on the job site. Then we will create the job site, allowing us to prepare site data and assign job sites to the specific controllers. Next, we will look at creating the job site design, where we will add design data, set out points, and assign controllers. Finally, we will look at the different export methods and file types, including exporting to the Works Manager software. We will be working in the Construction Data tab in the ribbon. Select Controllers. This will open the Controller Manager where we set up machines and data collectors that can be used on job sites. We can create, edit, and delete current and new controllers. Newer controller types have the option to enable compatibility for older versions, as seen here as some controller types have older software versions that don't support the settings. Next, we will open the Job Site Manager. Name the job site and assign the controllers to be used throughout the designs. Select where to publish the project library data if exporting Earthworks files as either folder or TCC and name the site. If the TBC project has a site calibration, it will automatically be applied to your job site. You can also select control points. This can be done graphically or by selecting by layer as shown. Avoidance zones can also be applied here. These can be wetlands, water mains, protected spaces, or areas where people can get hurt, like steep drop-offs. When machines and rovers get too close to the avoidance zone, they will be warned with a flashing screen and an audible alarm. The controllers applied to the job site can be changed by clicking Reassign. Now we create the job site design by clicking here. Name the created design and select the controllers that you would like to use, noting only the controllers assigned to the job site are available. Choose the model type of your design from the menu. For example, a road surface applies an alignment to the surface. 3D line work can be used for digging utility trenches. Or you can select standard surface which utilizes the design surface or a clipped portion can be applied if desired. We can then select relevant set out points and design elements associated with the chosen model as shown here. Noting that for GCS exports, the data only needs to be 2D, but SCS data uses 3D. To export GCS 900 data, click Export Field Data to USB Drive. You can now select where you would like the data library to be stored on your computer. For this tutorial, we'll save it to the desktop. Once saved, check the file types that have been exported to ensure that it is done so correctly. CFG is the calibration file, SVD and SVL are the surface line work respectively. To export SCS 900 data, click Email Field Data to create a compressed zip file containing your job site design. Note, you can also export GCS 900 data this way. Select the location where you would like this saved and name your file accordingly. Extract the data to check your correct export. DC is the site calibration for your job site. TTM and DXF are the surface and line work respectively. To export to Earthworks, first, publish field data to Project Library. Now, copy Project Library files to USB flash drive. You can select the location here. Checking the file types again, you'll see the cal file is a site calibration, and that DSZ is your design file. The cal file is a site When exporting to Works Manager, a project will need to be created. However, as this is the same process as a job site, 
Selecting Create Design converts an existing job site into a Works Manager project. Take note of how the logo for the project changes once we create design. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll be working in offline mode. You can use the drop down menu to use an online account. When creating your design, follow the same process as your job site design by selecting your model, relevant design map, and set out points. This pop up appears as we are working offline. Click Yes to continue. In the Project Explorer, right click on Works Manager Project and click the Properties. Using the drop down menu, adjust Cleanup VCL file to Yes. To export the data files to your computer or USB file, click Export Field Data to USB Drive. You can see that multiple data types are available for export. Select your designated folder. Check your export. There will be a folder for each of the data types that you've selected. Check the files that you'll be using for a calibration file, surface, and design as mentioned earlier. 